Hi, these comments are for KP. This is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. I read the essay that you wrote, so I'm, I'm putting your score between 24 and 25 points out of 30 based on the rubrics that you see right here, the official rubrics TOEFL uses to score your practice test or to score your speaking task when you take the TOEFL exam. Okay, here's what you wrote here. Now, let me show you something. I think if uh, E-Rater, ETS's artificial scoring engine for the writing section, you might have a little bit of trouble here. Look at this. So your words per sentence are 21.7. Your characters per words a little bit better at 4.8, but I think in both cases, to improve your grade level, I'd recommend your average sentence length to go about 25 words for each sentence you're writing, the average, and then the characters per word. Get that closer to five. But overall, it's, um, it's a well-written essay, right? So let's take a look at a few things here. My first suggestion here is it's more important for students to learn ideas and concepts. Why? Instead of saying, I'd like to support my perspective for the following reasons, state what the two reasons are so you have a little bit more specific uh, thesis statement. So you can go over to bettertofelscores.com. You can review a lesson. It's called TOEFL Thesis Statements. Check out that lesson. That will give you some ideas on how you can frame that. Now, the next part, the classroom style of learning requires certain skills thus ideas and concepts are especially important in education so what you would say here to make this topic sentence more arguable you might say um, students should learn ideas and concepts because certain Classrooms require certain study skills, something like that. So maybe think about combining those two sentences, making it more arguable, and I think that would be a better topic sentence there. In the next paragraph, you say the purpose of school is to prepare students for full participation in society. So then you might say there, you might say requiring students to learn ideas and concepts will more fully prepare them for the skills they need in society you might say. So I think that your thesis and topic sentences need to be more clearly framed. In fact, I'm going to adjust your score down a little bit. So if, if you look at the rubrics, the three area says, it says displays unity, progression, though connection of ideas may be occasionally obscured. So how does the purpose of those two body paragraphs connect back to the thesis. So you need a little bit better connection between your thesis statement and the topic sentences of body paragraphs two and three. I think that would help your writing to be a little more organized. Now in addition to that, you do have a few problems with uh, grammar. I'll just show you one here. Where is it? A couple of things to look at. In this case, You might change the word where to in which. Usually in which, it's, it doesn't refer to a specific geographical location. If you said, if you at the beach, where I blah, blah, blah. If you said at Huntington Beach, comma, where I went body surfing, and then you go on from there. So I would use where when you're referring to a specific geographical location. I think that's a better uh, word choice of that subordinated conjunction there. Then one more idea. You said when the student graduates, they will face, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this plural so you don't have the, the pronoun agreement issue. You can say this. When students graduate from the university, I'm going to put an enter the job market that will face many different situations and be able to deal with them. Right, so I would make that change also. 
So those are some comments, some things that you can probably work on to improve your writing. I'm going to put it at 24, not 24 to 25. I'll put you at 3.75 out of 5, 24 points out of 30 for the reasons I just described in this video.